it is a protest movement that's spreading. This is the University of Southern California, one of many flashpoints across the country. The police have issued a dispersal order on the USC campus. They've warned students that if they remain here, they will be arrested. The kids are barely getting killed. I can't by Hamas terrorists. By Hamas terrorists. By Netanyahu and Biden. Jeez. Sky News has been following them, witnessing the arrests, examining the motives. Why do you feel so passionately about being here, even though the police are telling you to leave? Because we know that we're on the right side of this right now. Are you scared? Uh, no. I think that the children in Gaza are more scared than I am. From coast to coast. Do you believe in Israel's right to exist as a country? I believe in all people's right to freedom and liberation. We are talking about a genocide. It is cutting deep wedges or exposing existing ones for both sides. These are pathetic, low-life scumbags. So what is going on at America's top universities? Protests, encampments, anger, and arrests at campuses across the country. Gaza is the catalyst. Israel is the target. We are calling for a complete divestment by Colombia from any company complicit in Israeli apartheid and colonization in Palestine. And we are calling for amnesty for all of our students. It began at Columbia on New York City's Upper West Side. The university president had called in the police. She'd concluded that the protesters, in a college with a proud history of protest, represented a clear and present danger to college life. Shame on you! They tried to clear the encampment. They arrested more than 100 student protesters, but it only emboldened the movement. <laughs> Downtown, at New York University, more arrests. Well, it's the morning after more than 100 people were arrested here at NYU in southern Manhattan, and they've put up barricades now. It's an attempt, I think, to quell the protests, to keep the two sides apart. It's also an attempt to keep out agitators who are unaffiliated with the student movement. But police and university authority policies are not working. This is the University of Texas in Austin. Again more protests. The presence of anti-Semitic elements within a much wider series of protests has made some Jewish students feel deeply unsafe. They've been compounded by the violent threats of a minority. Distilling what's happening to its simplest, most digestible form is easy. The reality is more nuanced. There are Jewish students among the protesters at all the campuses. As a Jewish student, I felt completely safe 100% of the time. The police showed up in big force, obviously, did not want us to be there, and they ordered us to break up or they'd stop making arrests. But back in New York, outside Columbia... And we came to our homeland, and all of these lunatics... An angry, offended and worried Jewish community. As offensive as these people are across the street, Agenda number one is to free our hostages. Do not be afraid of being Jewish, especially in New York City. Down with Hamas! Victory for Israel! The chaos of a war in the Middle East has reverberated so far beyond. Israel, Palestine, an issue seemingly so intractable, it's now confounding law enforcement and splintering the politics. Here's America's third most senior politician on campus with a clear position. If this is not contained quickly, and if these, these threats and intimidation are, are not stopped, there is an appropriate time for the National Guard. We have to bring order to these campuses. We cannot allow this to happen around the country. Even among faculty staff, there is a split. Some Jewish professors worried for their safety, others framing what's going on in a very different way. Uh, so it's not a Jewish protest outside. It's a protest of those who support the violence that is going on in Gaza against those who wanted to stop. There's clearly a wide spectrum of views here, and by definition, that's going to mean extremism on both sides. It also means definitions of anti-Semitism, of Islamophobia, are distilled and open to interpretation. It is then a balance between respecting free speech and restricting it, the fine line between free speech and hate speech.